Hello everyone, I am Nargis Buyafarian and I am presenting Print Sketch. This is work done with Marion Kole, Fiola Miyako, Polish Romaya and Jorgen Steinle at Zola University. Imagine you could create customized interfaces anytime and anywhere, just like a sketching creatively on a freely chosen surface. Such an approach might even allow you to improvise during fabrication. Now, if you think of a complex circuit that requires high precision, a sketching might not be ideal. For example, it is not easy to draw such a complex design without receiving support to prevent short circuits or to connect the elements to each other. Here, printing is the better alternative. Printing allows to rapidly create complex and high-resolution prototypes. But it separates design and fabrication steps and doesn't support ad hoc design and on the fly customization of circuits. There are also a variety of large and immobile objects that don't fit inside the printer. Commercially available handheld printers have already tried to address some of these issues and brought the design process closer to the object. However, these devices don't track the speed and direction of movement. This means the user requires a lot of practice to learn how to control the device and how to print on distorted images. And most importantly, current handheld printers are limited to non-conductive ink. For print sketch, we combine the benefits of sketching, such as the ability to improvise on the fly while printing functional electronics and high-resolution fine-grained control of details by actively sensing context plus device movement and by dynamically supporting the user. At Kai, we present Print Sketch, the first computer-supported approach for rapid freehand sketching of high-resolution electrical interfaces. Print Sketch tightly integrates the ease and expressiveness of free sketching with high-resolution printing that dynamically adapts to the device movement, prior sketch elements, and the surface material. This novel in-situ design and fabrication technique allows augmenting existing objects with customized circuits and sensors. Now, let's see what Print Sketch is made of. Print Sketch includes a handheld printer, functional ink, an Arduino and protoshield. The handheld printer consists of a piece of print head and a pair of visual sensors for tracking the device movement and sensing the print context. To better understand how the handheld tool works, I'll briefly introduce some basics of piezo technology. In our current implementation, we use a piezoelectric inkjet print head consisting of an array of nozzles. Piezoelectric print heads create patterns of expansion and contraction to jet the ink out of each nozzle in response to firing pulses. I will return to it as I explain the challenges print head sketch addresses. A sketching with a handheld printer creates a number of challenges. First, freehand sketching comes with hand movement. This means our hands move at different speeds and might shake or shiver. This is a problem not only for creating constant and continuous patterns, but also for printing straight lines. Second, a sketching is an incremental and iterative process and requires a spontaneous decision making. Iterative printing, however, can result in misaligned patterns or short circuits without real-time support. And finally, a sketching with a handheld printer allows you to print on everyday objects. However, objects and surfaces come in many materials with different absorption power. Without adjusting the amount of ink, it is not possible to create conductive traces. In the following, I will explain how we address these three challenges. Imagine you are holding the handheld tool and drawing a curved line. This seems really easy to do, but actually it is not. If the print speed doesn't adjust to the speed of movement, the result will be visually inconsistent and non-conductive, as we can see here. Based on the principles that I told you, the reason is that when we eject droplets at constant firing frequency, the space between droplets on the substrate becomes dependent on the speed of movement, which is not desirable. To be able to print a consistent trace, we use an optical motion sensor to detect the speed and then adjust the firing frequency accordingly. To print straight lines and compensate for unsteady motion or shaky hands, 
use optical sensor data and shift the dependent data accordingly. For more technical details, please look at the paper. By addressing this challenge, now we can move the device freely without worrying about the speed or unsteady motion. Now, let's see how printed sketch facilitates computer supported sketching. Consider the following situation. You want to connect a new terrace to a previously printed pad. Without computer support, it is difficult to precisely align old and new prints. To overcome this issue, Print sketch detects the pre-printed traces using the integrated camera and then the new data are shifted to align with the previous pattern. Using the camera also allows us to scan and print the desired shape or scan an existing component and print the footprints. To see the rest of the sketching techniques, please look at our video figure. Using print sketch, you might want to print on any type of surface. But, objects come in many materials with different absorption power. If we eject the same amount of ink on material with different absorption power, the result might not be conductive, as we can see on the right. To solve this problem, the size of the droplets should be adjusted to the absorption power of the substrate. Using the built-in optical sensor, print a sketch continuously monitors the material and dynamically adjusts the size of the droplets. Finally, to evaluate printed sketch, we conducted various technical studies on conductivity, accuracy of adaptive printing, and a case study with naive participants. To see the results, we invite you to have a look at our paper. To summarize, printed sketch combines desirable properties from manual sketching and computer-supported functional electronic printing that dynamically adapts to the user movement, prior sketch elements, and the surface material. Thanks for listening. I'm looking forward to the discussion.